guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am sharing my Polaroid camera collection, I'll share with you some of the accessories I have, as well as just the types of cameras I have. The first Polaroid camera I ever got was the Instax Mini 8. They do have a newer version of this out now, and this one has been getting, it's a little discolored, but it still works great. I know they have a little selfie mirror on here now, but it fits 10 exposures and they're business card sized photos. This is me, my brother. <laughs> uh, but this is the size of the Instax pictures. In comparison, this is the traditional Polaroid size. So this is from my 600 camera, which I'm gonna go into in a minute. But this is the picture size for the Instax Mini. I like these just because I think they're easier to memory keep with, which I do a lot of. If you've seen any of my other bullet journal videos, I do a lot of memory keeping in my bullet journal. I love memory keeping in my journals and notebooks, but they're a little bit smaller so they take up less space. I actually put full-size Polaroids in my first bullet journal. And while I like how it looks, it just takes up a lot of extra space that you can't really use or anything else. I do use the smaller ones, and I also use my HP Sprocket printer when I'm memory keeping and scrapbooking in my bullet journal. It's a good camera to kind of bring with you. It's a lot more compact than the other camera I'm gonna show you guys. For my Instax, I do love it just for some quick photos. I took some really awesome ones at our Halloween party over the weekend, and they're just really, it's an easy camera to use. It's just a simple like point and shoot. You turn the dial to uh, change the exposure so they have different settings for indoor, outdoor, cloudy, sunny. Whereas in comparison, my Polaroid 600 uh, does not have those types of settings. This is my Polaroid 600 and it is the close-up camera. I actually got this as a Christmas gift one year. I love this camera. So I, the color, if you can see it, is lilac color. It's a light purple. The great thing is this is from Polaroid Originals. All of their cameras are actually refurbished, redone. So this is actually an original Polaroid camera. You have the exposure down here and this is supposed to be able to change from close-up to further away. I found when I've used that setting that it the pictures still come out blurry. I haven't mastered how to do that yet, but it's really, really easy to use. So you got your viewfinder here that you look through to take the photo, click this button here, and then the photo pops out. I do love the Polaroid Originals film, so I get everything from Polaroid Originals. Their film is so fun and creative, and I am obsessed with the different frames that they have. This camera takes the 600 film, so to give you a little comparison right now i have the uh, mickey mouse from the anniversary and then i just have the color frames so these are really cool as far as like batteries and all that goes the instax does require a battery but honestly i don't think i've ever had to change this i think it's been the same battery since i've had it so it doesn't drain the battery super quick for the polaroid 600 the battery is actually in the cartridge so it powers the camera once you put a new film cartridge in there the only thing i really don't like about this camera that i wish it had and i think it must have originally been here i think that's what this is but it doesn't tell you how many exposures you have left whereas the instax does and i do like that it'll actually show you how many uh exposures you have left to change this film cartridge it's super easy this just pops open like this now uh, don't open this if you have film in here but because it's empty i can do that so you can see this is my empty film cartridge so this just pops out and then you pop a new one back in i started my polaroid collection in 2016 absolutely fell in love with just the idea of old photos i have them completely plastered all over our fridge i'm surprised sarah has not said anything my roommate about how many polaroid pictures i have put up on our fridge but so far she has not said anything to me about it it's actually in the living room right now though she probably heard me say that but <laughs> When it comes to the film, you have this little cartridge here. You see that little yellow tab? So it's really, really simple. It just matches up to the yellow tab here. So you can see the yellow tab there. Just place that in there until they match up. And then close it. You're gonna press this button here, turn it on, and take a picture. And then it's gonna pop out this little black piece. So this is just the front of the film that's protecting it from damage, but you can just toss this once it comes out of the camera. And then you can see on the back, the number of exposures resets to 10. I just put in this bloom film. I think this is exclusive to Urban Outfitters. The Instax mini film does have 10 exposures, whereas in comparison, the 600 only has eight instant photos. As my accessories go, I have a couple different things that I got. I got these two photo books from Urban Outfitters. I have one for my 600 film that I can put my full size Polaroids in. And then this one here is just for my Instax minis. So you can see, I do like that you can put a few more in this book than you can in the other one. The other one, you can only have one per page, so you can fit more in these books. The empty spots are all the photos that I have on my fridge currently. <laughs> you can actually slip a photo into the front. I think it's so fun. So I switch this out sometimes. Right now, it's just this cute one that I have of me and my brother. Zach, if you're watching this, hey. And then this one too actually also has the same thing. So you can put this in the front. March-ish. Uh, of this year. I ended up stopping at Best Buy to get some new things for the apartment 
And then I also found these, which I think are so cute. So it's this like watercolor vibe with like the rose gold instax. Oh, I love it. This is actually a case like this. So that's my camera. The one thing I will say, like it almost looks like you can take pictures this way, but like if you want to take pictures, you have to like, can technically, like I can pop this open and that'll pop out, right? But then like you can't, <laughs> There's not like an easy way to bend this back, but it does come off. So you can do that. It's a good carrying case. Like it, it collapses down and there is a strap on it. Uh, the one thing I wish all of these Instax accessories had that they don't is like somewhere to put all these photos, you know? I just feel like they get bent really easy and it's kind of hard to take out with you without bending the photos. Even if there's just a little sleeve back here, you know? Like like one of these things, like one of the just plastic sleeves. Urban Outfitters did have something like that. It was like just basically a sleeve that attached to the camera, but it sold out before I was able to get one. And then this here is just another photo book. I do love that this one has so many more photos that you can put in it. You can actually fit three per page, which is really cool. This was one of my favorite film packs too. It was, uh, I think it was called Pink Lemonade. They're so pretty. I love all the different films. I like this one because you can fit way more photos than you can on this one. The last thing I just wanted to kind of quickly go over, if you are looking to just kind of improve your Polaroid pictures a little bit, I've found, especially with the 600, lighting is ridiculously important. Like if your lighting screwed up at all, this camera will, like the pictures will not come out. Whoever you're taking the photo of, it has to be really well lit. It's kind of basic lighting for general photography anyway, but if there's any kind of lighting overhead, it casts like a really weird shadow. And if there's a light behind you, like shining directly towards the camera, that'll make the picture really wonky too. I have some pictures that look really weird because my lighting was so messed up. Make sure that the lighting is directly on the person or that you're like outside. If you're inside, make sure that there's light on you. If you're outside, then you can just use natural lighting. With the Instax, it is a lot easier when you're taking photos to just change that setting that I mentioned. Um, and they usually turn out as long as you're on the correct setting. That little indicator light will show you what to turn it on. If you don't turn it to that setting, it will, like the picture won't turn out. The other thing I will mention too, that I've always noticed with the Instax camera, do you see how much space I have here? So you can see like, like we're literally only in the second half of the picture. And it's because the, there's a discrepancy between when you're looking through the viewfinder and what it actually like takes the shot of. So I always tell people if I have them take a picture for me that they get way closer than they think they should be so that it actually gets, like to me, I would have wanted this to be the whole frame, not all of this. Do you know what I'm saying? So you always wanna get a little bit closer than you think you should when you're doing the Instax photos. If these is like anytime you're taking photos, you'll see that people in the background get way washed out. It gets incredibly dark. If you have people that are super closer to the camera, these people are going to be more lit up than the people in the back. It tends to wash out the people in the back. So just something to think about when you're taking your photos, but you definitely don't get the space that you do on the Instax. That is my Polaroid collection and all the tips and tricks I have for just taking better photos with your Polaroid cameras. I get all of my 600 film from Polaroid Originals. All of my Instax mini film is usually from Urban Outfitters or um, Best Buy, sometimes Amazon, but I would say majority of the time I get my Instax film from Urban Outfitters now. I always tend to have like newer frames that are exclusive to Urban Outfitters, which I like. The two photo albums are from Urban Outfitters and then I do have those two kind of cotton candy colored accessories for my Instax camera that I got from Best Buy. I do think they have similar sets on Amazon though for those. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. I'm uploading a video every single day in the month of October and we are coming to the end of October now. It is almost Halloween and I am so excited. I love Halloween. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys. Thank you.